Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. I am in my quotes journal that I made from a junk journal that is the shape of a 4 by 8 um, traveler's notebook insert. And I made a, pad of, a packet of paper and I must use it or lose it um, in order to avoid the ever-growing packet pile dump truck full of stuff. I have to lose this pad, packet of paper if I don't use it in this junk journal. And I have not, I made three tiny inserts and they're not sewn into a cover yet, which is that Flow Magazine cover, um, until I finish them because I am finally learning from my mistakes that don't sew it in because it's going to get fatter and fatter and fatter and then it's going to fall apart. So that little quote that's laying there right there is from a magazine and I'm not sure where it came from. But I like its message, and I'm in a hurry today. Well, I kind of am in a hurry today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And it works, but then I thought, well, this is kind of like a cop-out. Oh, I ran and got my tape. Um, that's double-sided tape that I thought I had to have, and I've never used it until recently. And I'm just trying to use that up also. Um, so in places where there are big pieces of paper, such as this, I'm using that double-sided tape. And conserving my glue sticks, which I absolutely love. You who glue sticks, which I am not sponsored. The only person that sponsors me is my husband and me. Um, but I decided to use this quote, which is all encompassing and project done for today. Yep. Poof. Done. Well, that's not fun. The sun sees your body. The moon sees your soul. I kind of like that. So... I was like, well, maybe I can do something on this other little section of paper that's left. And I think this is a child's puzzle book page or something. So I decided to use that piece of green there that I painted and couldn't part with. And I have a corner left, so I'm going to tear it all apart and make it all work in a hodgepodge form. That works for me. And then I thought, well, that's still not enough. So I decided I was going to replicate the little trees at the bottom of that moon scene on this green piece of paper. No, these are not my Amy Tangerine paints, but that is my Amy Tangerine brush, and I am in love with that thing. It's tiny. It fits my hand perfectly. I love that thing. And I don't often put water in my water brushes unless I'm out and about. I just use a little jar to put water in. Her paints are good. I do like the Prima paints better, but I didn't go in for to the Tam, Amy Tangerine palette for the purpose of the paints. I went in there just to have something from Amy and to make sure she stays in business forever. And the the pens are wonderful. I do love her um, permanent marker, permanent pen in there. It's a tiny ball. I'm not sure what point it is, but it's good. It's the American Crafts one. And I love this water brush. Love this water brush. It's smaller than Pentel. And the tip is just perfect. It's probably a small medium. But, you know, that cloud is all gray. And I started slapping this blue paint on. I'm like, okay, night and day? No, I don't like that. Well, you're going for it, lady. You might as well finish up the blue. I figured out something eventually. And there's a little person sitting to my right. You can't see her, but she is here. Or at least she comes halfway through here. She started painting on my arm. She she, she goes crazy when she has a paintbrush in her hand. Um, and she's distracting me. And I think she even bumps the camera tripod a bump, time or two. But that's okay. She's my buddy. Um, and she's good for the soul. And that's what this quote says. Good for the soul. So now I'm finally putting gray over all that blue thinking. That's too much. That's too much. Um. And do you know it's raining again? Yesterday and today we were in shirt sleeves. We slept with our windows open last night because it was cooler than it has, or warmer than it has been. Today we have the air conditioner on, and now it's raining again. And it's supposed to rain again uh, all day again tomorrow. This weather, I'm telling you, it's back and forth. Back and forth. There's my little bumper that's bumping on my tripod. This weather is back and forth, and it's no wonder we're all sick. Anyhow. Is that the best moon I've ever done? No, but I again, I mentioned the distraction sitting next to me on my right. So, um, 
I'm trying to take a picture of it for my Instagram when I remember to do that, and that's what I was doing right there. And now I am going to be through, except that I think I'm going to add a new thing in called No Clean Desks Allowed. I'm just playing. This is Kelly Perky's um, Traveler's Notebook monthly subscription that I've been getting for several months now. And I'm stamping on my Zen Circles and playing with her stamps and her month subscription always has a theme and this month it's tags and I love those tags right there um, and library cards like library tags this is another junk journal this is just me playing uh the rest of the day well not really the rest of the day but for a good bit so I made some tags on that blue and they match that little card is from her then I got out some uh dilutions paint just start slapping paint down and it's just a little bump of extra play um where my desk ends up looking like a pigsty and it's called no clean desks allowed so tomorrow i'll be back with my quotes and maybe some more no clean desk allowed time and we'll just go from there thanks for watching subscribe if you can bye